business tycoon, a retired army general and an economist. Which one will be the next Czech president? Andrei Babish has an estimated net worth of $4 million. Acquitted on charges of subsidy fraud only this week, the former PM said the charges were politically motivated. I, I, I think all these scandals were organized by people which don't want that I am in politics because I create the movement against the corruption because I am completely independent and nobody can corrupt me. Also in the running, General Pavel, a decorated paratrooper of the Serbo-Croatian War who later had a career at NATO. The independent candidate has distanced himself from Viktor Orban and Visegrad partners and is firmly pro-European. The uh, Czech Republic, uh, I hope, is a firm part of a uh, community of democratic nations, uh, represented, uh, among others, uh, by the European Union. It's uh, to our benefit to be part of uh, such, such a grouping. And last but not least, and only 44 years old, Professor Danuzia Nerudova, an economist. Her campaign has targeted young people with active social media, focused on social issues such as the cost of living and gender equality. Uh, well, I am the representative of the future. Uh, I have been living in freedom nearly all of my life, and I would like to, um, to become the president of the new generation. The role of Czech president is mostly ceremonial. The outgoing incumbent has in fact faced criticism for interference in domestic and foreign policy. Nevertheless, presidents have their say through prime ministerial appointments and are commanders-in-chief of the armed forces.